reticular connective tissue pass hematoxylin. This slide shows a view of a lymph node. This lymph node was taken from a perfused monkey where the little bit higher pressure of the perfusion fluid washed out most of the lymphocytes of the lymph node. Itself, the lymph node will be taught in the next semester. Now you only have to know that this preparation is from a lymph node, and this is here the medulla, and this is here the cortex area. Within the uh, medullary region, we see the medullary cords. These are a little bit more basophilic. This was the territory where in the previous week I showed you uh, the plasma cells. Also in the previous week we showed the reticulum cells as fixed cells of the connective tissue. Uh, now you see this meshwork of the reticulum cells. Reticulum cells are star-shaped cells with long processes. The processes are connected to each other with reticular fibers. The reticular fibers stain well with pus hematoxylin, but because this is a very delicate meshwork and they are kind of Im embedded into the cytoplasm of the, uh, of the reticulum cells. They are pressed into the cytoplasm. They are outside, this, outside the cell membrane, but the cell membrane is pressed in by the fibers, meshwork of reticular fibers. The outline of the reticulum cells is shown by, these, uh, by the staining, better than with just a, hem a plain hematoxylin in staining. Why do we need a meshwork like this? In lymphatic organs, like uh, a lymph node, the uh, bone marrow, the spleen, a tonsil, or a, a lymph follicle, uh, we have mostly round cells. And these round cells, if I simplify the problem, they would roll anywhere without a, a supporting system. This supporting system is given by these compartments of the reticular connective tissue. You don't only have reticular connective tissue in these areas, you have it also here behind the cells, just you don't see them as well as, the, as in these empty territories. So these are here the reticulum cells. They are bound together with, meshwork, with a meshwork of reticular fibers. In the previous week, we showed you the reticular fibers with silver nitrate from the liver. That was not reticular connective tissue. Those reticular fibers in the liver they supported the epithelial-like cells of the liver parenchyme. 